Sad news coming that legendary Eric Jerome Dickey has passed away. Rip to the legendary Eric Jerome Dickey. Thank you for all of your contributions to the writing world. Here's my mood today. One tweeted. This man books literally changed my life. He was the first author I've ever read, and I've been in love with reading ever since that. His writing also made me want to become a writer. I'm literally hurt by this news. Rip Eric Jerome Dickey. Another tweeted after sudden passing of legendary author. Eric Jerome Dickey was a New York Times best selling American author, best known for his novels about contemporary African American life. He is also known for writing several crime novels involving grifters, ex cons, and assassins, the latter novels having more diverse settings, moving from Los Angeles to the United Kingdom to the West Indies, each having an international cast of characters. Eric Jerome Dickey was born in Memphis, Tennessee, on July 7, 1961. He grew up on the south side of Memphis, living on Kansas Street. He attended Riverview Elementary, Riverview Junior High, and Carver High. After graduating high school, he went to college at Memphis State University, where he earned a degree in computer system technology. In 1983, he moved to Los Angeles to pursue a career in engineering. Dickey was employed in the aerospace industry working at Rockwell International, ASSD division, as a software developer, before deciding that he wanted to pursue acting and stand-up comedy, and began the local and national comedy circuit. Dickey wrote several comedy scripts for his personal comedy act, and later began writing short stories. In 1994, his first published short story 13 appeared in the It Was River Crossing, Voices of the Diaspora and Anthology of the International Black Experience. A second short story, Days Gone By, was published in the magazine A Place to Enter. He then developed a screenplay called Cappuccino. Directed and produced by Craig Ross Jr., it appeared in coffee houses around the Los Angeles area. In February 1998, Cappuccino made its local debut during the Pan-African Film Festival at the Magic Johnson Theater in Los Angeles. Dickey has authored 15 novels and has been featured in a variety of publications, including Essence Magazine, USA Today and the Los Angeles Times, and his novels have appeared on the bestseller lists of The Blackboard, The Wall Street Journal and The New York Times. Dickey has appeared as a guest on many shows, including Bets Are Voices and CNN's Sunday Morning Live. His books Sleeping with Strangers and Waking with Enemies were released on April 10, 2007 and August 7, 2007, respectively. His 14th novel, Pleasure, was released in April 2008. On November 1, 2008 Dickey released his 15th solo work entitled Dying for Revenge.